Welcome back, everyone. Well, as you know, as part of the 12 Days of Giving, we've asked everybody who's part of our family here at Look Media to come up with a cause that we want to help highlight. And Dr. Paul Arciero, hiya, Paul. Jesse, how are you? I'm good, fine, thank you. Good, uh, great idea, by the way. Oh, thanks, thanks. It, uh, Paul uh, is going to tell us why he chose the American Cancer Society. Well, I chose it uh, for two reasons. One, it's very close and personal to me. I lost my father to lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And I, I lost him at a relatively young age, and he was a huge, huge inspiration and source in my life. In mm. fact, my whole family's life. So, you know, I, I get emotional about it, but um, if there's any way that I can continue to give back, and I, and I always do, to the American mm -hmm. Cancer Society, and particularly targeted to the Lung Cancer Society. And just real briefly, Jesse, lung cancer is the, by far yeah. the leading cause of cancer deaths. You know, that's we right. talk about breast cancer, and that's a very important one, prostate cancer mm -hmm. for men. Lung cancer outweighs more than both of no, those no, no, combined. No, combined know. You know, this year alone, there's going to be over 225,000 people diagnosed with lung cancer, wow. 159 of whom will not make it through mm -hmm. the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So the problem with lung cancer, if I just could just conclude with this, is that um, it advances at such a rapid State rate, that's and right. Rate sure. that by the time they detect it in people, 70% already have advanced lung cancer into right. stage four. So they only diagnose it in 30% of the cases in the earlier stages, mm -hmm. and that's why it's so deadly. Well, Paul, thank you very much for recommending this to us. Uh, I totally agree with you about the American Cancer Society and their mission and what they're doing. Thanks. So thank you very much and happy holidays and to you. Same to you. Great and now, course. here's that interview. Welcome back, everyone. Well, joining me today is Jillian Camp from the American Cancer Society. Welcome, Jillian. Thank you. Nice to have you back again. Thanks. Nice well, to be here. I'm pretty sure the last time you were here, we talked about the Relay for Life, and at that time, you were rather pregnant. I was rather pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's he doing? He's fantastic. Yeah, great. Adorable. <laughs> Six months old, if my math isn't too bad. Six months old. Can't believe it. First Christmas. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Jillian's a title, by the way, is Director of Special Events. And she really focuses on Saratoga, Warren, and Washington County, which, of course, is our, is our viewership. Um, how was 2014 for American Cancer Society? It was a great year. It really Good. was. It was a strong year. We met a lot of people. We helped a lot of people. And we couldn't be mm -hmm. happier. Good. That's terrific. Uh, the Relay for Life, of course, was everywhere. Yeah, it was. Yeah. We what tried. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did quite a nice job on that particular special event. Hey, um, it's, the t it's that time of year. And uh, so I asked Jillian, you know, could we focus in a bit on what the American Cancer Society is doing in this kind of weather, in the winter, to help people that are struggling, suffering from uh, cancer? And you had a couple of initiatives, programs that you're involved with right now. Yeah. Give us a rundown. Um, so I think uh, first and foremost, especially in this community, we have a program called Road to Recovery. Mm. And Road to Recovery, um, what it does is pair up volunteer drivers with patients who um, maybe have a cancer diagnosis and are getting treated, let's say, at Albany Med. Um, yes. So if they're traveling from this area to Albany Med, that's quite a trek to mm -hmm. do three, four times a week for an extended length of time. So we pair up volunteer drivers with patients. Um, the, the volunteers uh, donate their time and their mileage and, and they drive these treatments every day to their treatment sites. Mm -hmm. um, and from that, they really form long-lasting friendships. Um, of course they do. We actually just had a gentleman who was driving a woman for six weeks and she in turn invited him over for Thanksgiving dinner and he oh. didn't have another place to go. So we hear some really heartwarming stories oh, about I bet, that I, I bet you do. Now, uh, you know, not, I think there are very few people that haven't been touched by cancer, family member, friend, or whatever. Uh, you know, if someone is going through chemotherapy, they're getting the heck beat out of them. Yeah. They can't drive. And uh, you uh, said something in passing that really stuck. You know, even taking public transportation could be hazardous because their immune level is down from the treatment and all of a sudden public transportation more susceptible to, to getting germs and things Absolutely. like that. Uh, well, what a wonderful cause. Uh, 
Uh, there's another program that you mentioned to yeah. me, which was the Look Good, Feel Better. Is yep, that what it's Look called? Good, Feel Better. And Look Good, Feel Better is um, specifically for women who are dealing with the appearance-related side effects of chemotherapy, mm. such as losing their hair or yes. maybe losing their eyebrows. So Look Good, Feel Better, um, we have one session every month, and you can get registered, and we give you a $250 kit of makeup. It's all hyperallergenic. It's the best of the best. Um, and we have a licensed cosmetologist who will teach women how to pencil in eyebrows so maybe they look more natural or um, they do wig fittings so if you're losing your mm. hair you can try on all different kinds of wigs all of our wigs are 100 percent human hair um, they're all donated by our Pantene Pro-V Beautiful Lengths uh, mm -hmm. program which you see often in schools especially um, it's a fantastic program and a lot of times women come in and they're feeling really down about themselves sure. and by the time they leave that program they're throwing off wigs they're trying on pink wigs they're <laughs> they're having the time of their life so it's it's a fantastic fantastic program uh, you know it just sounds like it's so perfect and of course there's a camaraderie involved with that too and a support mechanism yep. for each other absolutely you know, uh, you know just a, a quick sidebar my sister-in-law went through real serious bout with cancer and beat it and uh, I remember her trying on hats, yeah. <laughs> you know, all kinds of really great, crazy hats. Yeah. And it was a wonderful lift for her personality. So Absolutely. That, that's a wonderful program. And, uh, and the third one that, I, that I'd like to talk about is Hope Lodge. You know, there are situations where the cancer is really digging in mm -hmm. and the family needs to be together overnight. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, Specific cancer diagnoses may lead to specific treatment plans. So there are a lot of people in this area who may be the best case treatment plan for them is not in the Albany or Saratoga yeah, area. Sure. Maybe it's in Manhattan, Memorial right. Sloan Kettering, for example. Right. So what we have is a facility called Hope Lodge. Um, we have 27 across the country, and right here in New York State, we have one in Rochester, Buffalo, and Manhattan. Mm -hmm. We also have one in Burlington, Vermont, and in Boston, which are popular mm, for this hopes. area. Mm -hmm. right. um, and what it is is it's a luxury housing facility with all the amenities of home. So uh, patients can stay there for free um, as long as they need um, up you know some stay there for six months we mm. had a gentleman uh, at the Manhattan Hope Lodge who stayed there for nine months mm. um, they can stay with a caregiver there's kitchens there's game rooms there's just anything that you could think of to lift their spirits we do bunco nights and mm -hmm. we recently did a Thanksgiving dinner for all the patients at Hope Lodge all donated by volunteers um, it's a fantastic resource for people who need to maybe be away um, from home for a period and of not time. have to pay for a hotel cost. Sure, Nobody can course. afford that um, when they're also dealing with, you know, the financial responsibilities. Well, of you cancer. know, overall, and I know how dedicated you are because you focus right on Saratoga, Warren, Washington yep. County, and I see you all over the place. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, the, just that one point I think I'd like to close with is that you mentioned in passing, you've done it a few times, keeping their spirits up. Yep. You realize how debilitating this disease is and that you know coping with it and family coping with it and your appearance and all of these things are really key to recovery if your Absolutely. spirits are up anybody will tell you your opportunity for recovery is greater a hundred percent yeah well you know the, the best of luck it's holiday time it's giving time the american cancer society always needs funds but it needs volunteers you heard about Hope Lodge, you heard about the uh, volunteer driver program, and you uh, also heard about Look Good, Feel Better. Yep. So, uh, you know, you're out there, you're listening. Uh, go to the website and find out what's going on here. Jillian, thank you for coming in. Happy holidays thank to you. Thank you, you Give too. the little one a kiss. I sure will. <laughs> <laughs> to see this interview again, head to our website, looktvonline.com.